Welcome to another Guide 2 with me, Mr. Sealy P. The Big Bud, Big Brute 425 100. This is a new mod out today that came out in conjunction with the map I'm on, the Welker Farms Inc. map by Mappers Paradise. The uh, Big Brute is a mod by Black Sheep Modding. This has come out in conjunction with the Welker Farms map because this machine was built by Nick and Scott Welker. It's an interesting piece of machinery. Um, this came off the back of an idea, I don't know if these people had the original idea, but Wild Farms, which is not far from the Welker farm, run two like this. Uh, so the Welker brothers decided they were going to make one. Um, and this isn't something you can buy, this is something that gets built. This is built from a Case Titan float truck and a New Holland um, boom sprayer, a New Holland S1070 I think it was, um, a trailed boom sprayer. So this whole section here, the boom sprayer, came off the back of a trailed unit. The front section, all of this, and the chassis was a Case Titan float truck. And they merged the two together quite successfully. And what's quite impressive is the fact as well that to match the fact that they run big buds on the Welker Farms, they have got three of them, they wanted this machine to look like the big buds did. This front radiator cowling was recovered um, from like a reclamation, a big bud reclamation yard. So this is actually from a big bud, um, and then it was repurposed and used as the radiator cowling on the big brute. It's an interesting piece of equipment. Um, the rear tyres are about 73 inches tall and cost about $5,000 each, which is a bit bonkers. Um, we'll have a look in store at the specs it gives you. Um, so, having a quick look, under sprayers, it is the Big Bud, Big Brute 425 100. It's 195,000. I haven't changed. I'll tell you what I need to do. Let's do this right. That's better. 195 thousand dollars, not pounds. Um, the big brute runs with. It's got a 3176 cat engine, uh, producing 425 horsepower, which is what they've uh, managed to do here. Black sheep modding's done a brilliant job on this. Um, and from watching Nick Welker's live stream uh, earlier today with the release of the Welker Farms Inc. map and obviously the Big Brute, um, and there's also a Shelby Montana Geo mod to go with it for the weather, which is fantastic. The whole thing comes as kind of a package. Um, he said that he was actually out spraying in the Big Brute whilst being contacted by Black Sheep Modding, and he was sending pictures of the cab and the vehicle, the idling noise, the engine noise he took on his phone, leaning out of the cab uh, of the uh, the Big Brute itself. So it's all genuine, all done from like proper specs. It's, it's amazing, it really is. Um, Nick Welker uh, says it's got a 1,600 uh, gallon tank that converts to about 6,200 litres, roughly. And he said it's a 100 foot boom spray. 100 foot works out around 30 meters. And according to this one, it says 33. So it's a 33 meter boom sprayer. Um, impressively, as well, a top speed of 37 miles per hour. Um, but when it sprays, it sprays at nine. Nice bit of kit. Quite impressive, I'd say. 495,000. And it looks an absolute beast. It is amazing. Some good animations on it as well. What they did, I think, it started off, and it was called. It was the either the Case Titan project or just the Titan project, and they decided that um, as the project went along, the kind of big brute idea uh, kind of followed along with it, making it look like a big bud. And the big brute um, font here, I believe, was done by Scott Welker's wife, uh, who's the design guru on Welker Farms. Um, and I'll, I'll whiz over in a minute, we'll have a look at the Big Bud 450 over there, and you can see the design cues from both. Um, all of these sections here are taken from that whole design. The Welker Farms logo is now, I think, on all the Big Buds and on the Big Brute too. What we're going to do is jump in. And fire it up. 
It's got the spinning fan at the front. It's a really nice tidy mod. Very, very good. It's been done brilliantly. So if I put up alongside the big bug that's already here. You can see that design specifically done to match up with the big bud stuff. The Welker brothers are brilliant at what they do. They really, really are. Um, so, uh, what we'll do is have a quick look inside as well. That screenshot, Nick Welker said as well, off the... Uh, what's it called? Is it a Trimble? I'm sure it's a Trimble. The GPS system. Um, a screenshot was taken from his actual Trimble. I like the fact it does actually work in miles per hour. You can see it going up and down there on the screen, which is amazing. Time matches up down on the clock with the time in the top right hand corner. What I will do is turn the steering wheel. I want to zoom in on that little plaque there. I think that's a speed warning, I'm not too sure. Uh, I don't think the pedals move. But it's very neat and tidy. When the lights go on, lights, main beam, lights on the dashboard. There's no indicator light that comes up on the dashboard. That I've come across. But very nice indeed. Another little feature. If I go on PlayStation controller R1, I think it is. I've got an opening door. Very nice indeed. So have a look at those from outside as well. So we've got our lights. Main beam off. And then we've got a door open and close. Let's see if we have a little bit more so we can see it a bit better. That's so close, that's boom. Awesome. Indicators. Doesn't have a beacon. But then probably doesn't need one to be fair because it doesn't really go anywhere else other around the farm that's used on. What I'm going to do is pull this one in. That's what I have done. Just taking the liberty. I love that brilliant animation of filling one up. Nick and Scott, leg arms, taking it easy. Probably think up their next project. It looks incredible, it really does. That's something from Mad Max. Fantastic. So, 33 metre, 100 foot, thereabouts. Now this doesn't unfold exactly like the one on uh, Welker Farm itself, because I believe the animations are kind of a set thing for the booms pretty much on, uh, on Farming Simulator. And for Black Sheep Modding to have done it properly, it wouldn't have worked on all platforms as I understand it. Uh, but the boom goes up and down. Again, very nice, smooth animations. Lights on there too. Indicators on there. So turn the lights off, drop the boom down a little bit, and let's give it some squirt, shall we? Turn it on. Now where we go. That is a nice wide boom on that. It just looks really, really good. It's, it sounds good. The animations are brilliant. It's fantastic that it came out the same time as the map, um, because if you want to be kind of faithfully recreating the Welker Farms uh, guys while you're playing and you want to run Big Buds, the Big Brute goes with it perfectly. So uh, it's an awesome addition to the Welker Farms map. It's an awesome addition to Farming Simulator generally. Great mod by Black Sheep Modding. Looks good. Sounds good. Very, very nice indeed. 
turn it off. Follow the boom. Oops, didn't mean to turn the engine off completely. Go back inside. And that is pretty much it. There's not much else to show. It's just uh, you know, a few little facts and bits of information thrown in there. I've been watching Welker Farms uh, on YouTube for quite some time now and I've been quite excited, <laughs> say quite excited, very excited for the map to come out and then this week with the kind of information that the big brute will be coming out as well and the fact that it's now past testing and came out exactly the same time as the map is just brilliant, it really really is. But that's it from me on this guide to the big bud, big brutes. 425100 from Black Sheep Modding. Very, very nice mod indeed. I hope you've enjoyed this, found it useful and informative in some way, shape or form. And if you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.